Here we are at Edinburgh um, main train station. Believe it or not, we arrived at this gate and um, look at the time we arrived. That's hard to believe. And right here next to us is Drew McAdam, really? my good friend <laughs> who came to pick us up and uh, we're going to drive now to North Berwick. Get there in about 40 minutes. With his car. In eight years. That is great. I'm going to do I'm taking this home. <laughs> This is great. I did not expect this here. Look at it. Fit for a king. I'm going to come here every day to eat the food. Uh, it's healthy, it's vegetarian, and amazing people around. Is there any way forward? Yes, sitting on the tree there. Approved? Perfect. Good. <laughs> I don't know if you know what Twitter is, but this picture will go now worldwide on Facebook and Twitter. So, uh, wait, I want you to spell me correctly your name. Hold on. Uh, this was last year, was it? Yes. And then, when I started investigating the island, I was just... pushed out and uh, the wind somehow um, grabbed me and I hit the plane and I turned and it was a candle fall. Sense, call it um, paranormal, call it mystical powers. I was, uh, it wasn't that expensive either. I was uh, 75,000 pounds and I knocked the feather down to 30. <laughs> Using my mind power. <laughs> It's going to go. Watch it. Look, it's going to go. Wow. Damn! I made a career out of it. I'm now the interrogator on the Trisha Goddard show. Um, I was the subject of uh, the four-part BBC series School for Genius. Thank you. Thank you. I'm looking forward to it. So how did that go? It was fantastic. The people were great. Um, I, I honestly feel like coming to live here part time, but um, it was, yeah, I was, it was an honor for me. Are you alright, <laughs> The puffin is coming to the island, <laughs> and he's he's staying there. Here we are. Uh, we are leaving the offices of the Seabird Center. Tom, please tell everyone who you are. Okay, I'm Tom Brock. I'm the chief executive of the Scottish Seabird Centre here in North Berwick, and we're just delighted that Uri's here, and we're going to make sure he gets and lands on his island. And we're going walking to the harbour now. We're walking to the harbour, and go. we'll get you on the boat. Let's go. Okay. So how do you feel about getting on your way then, Uri? Um, this is uh, just unbelievable, incredible. I think the last time I felt this emotion was when I dove uh, above the Bimini wall in the Bahamas, underwater diving to douse for lost artifacts. Uh, and um, I, I have this feel uh, and the energy uh, around me at this moment. And um, yeah, so there we, there we go. I just hope that the weather won't change drastically tonight because we want to, I mean, get off tomorrow. 
and, and uh, at 8.30. But some people are telling me that we might be abandoned, <laughs> stranded on Lamb Island. I kind of like the idea. We're going around the world <laughs> in 80 days. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Come on, you can jump. Go on, come on, you want to do it? Yeah. <laughs> Like yeah, but a lot of boats have already crashed on them, right? to Lamb, uh, how incredible it is to own an island. It's just mind-blowing. Look at it. Look at all these seagulls. Are these seagulls mine? <laughs> I just asked Andy, actually, where are we going to climb up from? Because right. it looks pretty... The answer is there. Okay, I didn't expect it to be so difficult climbing on this, but as you can see, uh, this is not easy. But it's, uh, it's, it's just. It, look at that! Oh look, look at this! Look at this! 